Hello Eurovision addicts, the grand final is just over a month away. This video is our first weekly recap of all the Eurovision 2024 news that you need. We're going to cover parties, tickets, betting odds, and much more. Let's start with tickets. New tickets just went on sale on the Ticketmaster Swedish website. They will sell out, so grab a ticket if you want to go. I already have my tickets for the three televised shows, and prices are much better than last year. Don't give up if you cannot find tickets quite yet. I got mine through resale last year. Now let's talk about the pre-parties. If you're new to Eurovision, pre-parties are like mini concerts before the main event. The first one happened in Madrid and we got 26 participants performing their Eurovision entry. This is usually our first take at looking at their performances live. Switzerland's Nemo was the big winner of the night, showcasing a very impressive vocal range and changing the betting odds. More on that later. Other cool performances were Angelina Mango from Italy and Baby Lasagna from Croatia. Let's get a quick preview of Nemo's performance. Alright, let's talk about the semifinals running order. The show organizers decided how the songs are gonna be performed during the two semifinals to make the show exciting. Let's take a look at who might benefit and who might not from this order. We got a new twist this year with the automatic qualifiers also performing during the semifinals. These countries are Germany, the United Kingdom, Spain, France, and Italy, and the host nation this year, Sweden. All right, on the first semifinal, we have Cyprus opening the show, followed by Serbia, Lithuania, Ireland, the United Kingdom, Ukraine, Poland, Croatia, and Iceland. It's close in the first half. On the second half of the first semifinal, we have Germany, Slovenia, Finland, Moldova, Sweden, Azerbaijan, Australia, Portugal, and Luxembourg. If we look at who might benefit from the order on the first semifinal, we're looking at a really stacked first half. We have two potential winners on the first half, both Ukraine and Croatia. Coming towards the end of the first half will benefit them. Serbia could have benefited from a better spot, being sandwiched between Cyprus, which is a very upbeat zone, and Lithuania, which is also a pop zone, and in second place might get forgotten towards the end of the semifinal. And looking at the second half of the first semifinal, Portugal is really standing out for me here between Australia and Luxembourg. This is such a unique entry, brings a lot of Portuguese flavor into it, and in between two pop songs, I think it's gonna really benefit Portugal. Moldova between Finland and Sweden might not see the same fate. Finland is such a big show, it's such a party song, and Sweden is so sleek. Moldova is going to really want to do something different to stand out. All right, let's take a look at the second semifinal. We're going to have Malta open the semifinal, followed by Albania, Greece, Switzerland, Czechia, France, Austria, Denmark, Armenia, Latvia. And the second half, we have Spain, San Marino, Georgia, Belgium, Estonia, Italy, Israel, Norway, and Netherlands. If we look at who is to benefit on the first half, Latvia's got a great spot close in the first half. We have two other ballots in the show, Albania number two and France between Czechia and Austria. Dawn is really gonna benefit from this spot. And coming after Armenia, which is such a upbeat entry, is gonna be a good contrast. Who might not benefit on this half? I think Albania, number two, in between Malta and Greece. Greece is gonna be really memorable. After Greece, we get Switzerland. So Albania is gonna need to do something really interesting to stay in people's minds, just even by the end of the first half of the second semifinal. If we look at the second half, I think Netherlands is really in the running to win the semifinal all throughout by closing the show. And Belgium, while being a big fan favorite, it's going to have a lot of really upbeat songs right after it. So it's going to want to be memorable in order to be remembered. All right, we got some stage updates. The stage has been built and we got some cool videos of lights and support systems being installed in the Malmo Arena from Ola Melsig, who is the technical director of Eurovision. And stay updated to his Instagram account as we're going to be getting more updates every day. 
And now let's go into some betting odds news. The odds on who will win changed a lot this week after Nemo's performance. Switzerland is now the likely favorite to win. Croatia in number two and Italy in number three. These numbers are likely to be changing quite a lot in the next couple of weeks as we see more pre-parties and performances coming in. That's all the hot Eurovision news for today. Like this video for more and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Bye.